solar surf shed, 800 watt solar panels, four times 200 watt on the top. So it's putting energy back into the house. I'm by the beach, so everything rusts, so there's almost no metal except for the screws. Surfboards are all mounted on slats that are removable, and they slide into the back there every six inches. There's a slot, so you can put them wherever you want. There's a microinverter there with Bluetooth. You can monitor the power. It's going into this outlet down there back into the house. It generates about 600 watts for about five or six hours a day, maybe more. Everything's ventilated so that the wax doesn't melt on the surfboards. Don't mind if a bit of water gets in because they're designed to get wet. And also the solar panels can stay cooler with the ventilation. Cool, cool. I've got a bunch of redwood here and here's the cardboard boxes. There's two solar panels in one, one solar panel in the other, and this guy on the ground. I'll show you the solar panel in a second. Here's some bricks from the driveway out front that are extra. They're kind of cool. They're old school bricks. They're much longer than they make now. I don't think you can get those anymore, but save those. And here's the area that I want to put it. So I'm going to put the bricks here on the ground and the shed will be a lean-to up top there coming down with four solar panels a little over 10 feet wide and I'll run a single post dig a hole and put a post in the ground there and I bought these on Amazon and they're kind of cool you can see the light comes through it a bit from the backside so it'll act like as a sunroof as well and rather than putting up some sort of asphalt or wood roof that's going to deteriorate this is going to be a waterproof glass roof that lets light through inside of the shed and at some point if it's not big enough i can extend it out all right so i drew our house in solidworks we can take a look at that here and here is the solar lean-to or solar shed. I haven't put doors or walls on it. I figure I'll sort that later. And this is what needs to be constructed. There's two by fours or two by sixes on each side, two by six across the front, four solar panels supported by two by fours at the seams, and a two by four in the back. And then on the fence, I will put a supporting two by four, two by six for this to bolt onto using deck screws. All right, so the first thing I need to do is take and cut this old carpet out. I'll leave it under the rocks there for now because the shed's gonna end before that bit there. There's the shelf mount. These will slide into here, like so, and give it a little angle.
So this thing's been making about 600 watts per hour, about three kilowatts per day average, which is over 10% of the power that the solar system on the roof of the house is making.